So we're going to start out with robot base and uh, and the robot here. You guys ready? Yeah. We are. All right. You have six minutes. Get ready. Okay. Hi guys. Hope you guys are doing okay today. My name is Dewey. This is Justin. We are from Robot Base, based in New York. Ever since I was a kid, watching the Jetson, I dream of having my own personal robot. And that day is today. That day is today. Introducing Maya. She the world's first personal robot, powered by deep learning. In a beautiful form factor, extremely intelligent, for the price point for the mass, under $1,000. So what can she actually do? Let's take a look at a few things. She can un understand speech. She can even understand me with a very thick Vietnamese accent. And she can carry her action. Say hi, Maya. Hello, everyone. I am Maya. So not only Maya can understand what I say, she can actually see things around her in the same way that we human do. She recognize your faces. She recognize objects around the house, like table, chair, TV, and navigate around the house by herself. So, uh, for example, John, nice to see you again. She knows me? Yeah. Well, from yesterday, thanks for the feedback, John. So, um, so not only just listen and understand what I say or you say and see things around her, she can even move around by herself from room to room at home so that she can help you to wash the house. As soon as Maya gets into a new room, she instantly fills the surrounding environment with all the sense of packed in her body, including air quantity, temperature, humidity, and many more. The CO2 level is very good here. A little humid, though. Nice, Maya. So not only Maya has her own sensor, she can actually connect with a lot of connected devices. Maya shifts with dynamic Z-Wave, so you don't need to have cable into a smart home hub. You can pick Maya up from one building to the next building, and she instantly connects with hundreds of devices. She also got Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So she works with anything. Work with uh, Z-Way Lock, with Nest, with Belkin, and even LiveX light bulb to change the colors. I'll turn on and on. So um, the part that I'm proud the most about what we're working on is actually on the software side. Besides this beautiful form factor, the brain, Maya's brain, is built on top of deep learning. And we are very proud of being the very first company applying deep learning into robotics. Across various styles from computer vision, facial recognition, emotion recognition, pattern detection, natural processing, with a single algorithm of deep learning. So we see a few things that Maya can do one by one. She can see things around, she can understand what I say, she can move around. But the most powerful thing is when she combines these things together and perform a much more complicated task. For example, she's an awesome photographer, photographer. Maya, can you take a photo? Ready? One, two, three. There you go. So at your next Christmas party, you don't have to take the phone out and go around to photograph everybody. You can sit back at your couch Maya moves around autonomously, recognize if you are smiling or a group of people together and take photo for you. You can actually enjoy the moment rather than try to capture it. Maya is also a great personal assistant network, an actual physical personal assistant network at home. So for example, if I'm at home and I'm cooking, my hands are busy, I, I can't really reach my pocket to get my phone, I can't really swipe through, try to find Google, so that, that takes too long, right? Instead, I can just ask, Maya, can you put a chicken curry recipe, please? Sure. First, mix some chopped chicken into bite size. Thanks, Maya. Cut ginger into thin strips and cut onions into cubes. Great. So besides this example, she can walk you even through a home improvement project step by step, so that you can focus your project and have somebody guide you through it. Another example for those of you who have kids at home, Maya is a wonderful storyteller. For example, the princess followed the deer towards the enchanted cave. So as Maya reading through the story, she also changed the mood of the room so that it reflected the story by a simple Z-Way connection to the light bulb and control it. And my daughter just loved Maya for this feature. So I'm, I, I have showed you guys a few use cases that Maya can be really helpful at home. 
But what our team is even more excited about is the enterprise opportunities, the B2B use cases. With the same piece of hardware, with the same deep learning AI we build here, you can take Maya and put it into the workforce. You can put her into the warehouse to count inventory. You can put her into the bar to count inventory. You can put her at the front desk at the hotel to check in guests, or even on the department floor to, to help customer with. So for example, I'm going on shopping today, and I'm approaching Maya in the store, and she, a customer said, Fred, hey, how are you? She said, do it. So she, she see me, I'm a frequent customer here, so she recognized my face and said my name right away. And I can ask her things like, hey, Maya, where can I find um, a, a winter jacket? I'm 17. Would you like me to take you there? So not only Maya tell me where it is, she can actually physically take me to the right location in the store, and that saved me a lot of time. And again, that the same piece of hardware, the same thing that I explained earlier, move around, image recognition, and speech recognition. So we are talking to major retailer at this point for a simple pilot for a store assistant uh, robot. And what you just see is one of fair feature. Right. She can actually... I think we're ready to... I think we're done, fortunately. But it's fine, it's fine. I think we got everything, right? So, it's done? Yeah, we're done. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Yeah. We, everybody, everybody got excited. So what do you think of Maya? You guys going to buy one? There's definitely a lot of work has, has been done, so, so maybe we can just uh, continue on the features. Uh, a few things that um, uh, I was curious about, uh, you know, talking about... Uh, the autonomy, uh, is it wired at the moment and or not? How fast can it go and you know all kinds of features inside? So are you talking about the, uh, the moving part? Yeah. Uh, so um, as for the moving part, we use SLAM uh, as, as the algorithm to draw the map. So the experience is that as soon as Saro get Maya at home, actually you can name her any, with any name you want, open the box, put it put into your living room, she moves around auto automatically to draw the map first so that she remember the initial map. And as you move furniture around, she updates the map as she goes. Um, as far as going faster, slow, uh, right now we keep the speed pretty slow, uh, so it's it's stable. But that can be adapt, can be adapt uh, and learn over time. I mean, if I bought if I bought it right now, how much, how many of the features would be available? What could I do with it out of the box? Uh, most features you see today are gonna be available by the end of the year. Uh, the hardest part is actually not on the feature, but actually on the intelligence. So we build out the deep learning part already, and she might have fit more and more data into her. So actually, if you guys have time to stop at our booth tomorrow, we actually have a live demo. You can just bring an object in front of her and say, hey, what is it, Maya? And right now, we train up about 2,000 objects from like empty toilet paper to like toothbrush to like TV, couch, and things like that. I really like the idea of a uh, customer service device, uh, but I'm not sure uh, if is it correct to uh, position this uh, product in two segments like B2C and B2B at the same time because uh, you uh, showed us a lot of uh, customer friendly features before this customer service one and I know this is not really easy to yep. to, to make it at the same time how do you want to solve this problem? Yep. That's a really, really good observation um, we um, we follow our customer so we start with consumer first and then the B2B customer approaches. And right now, it's in a very early stage. We have meeting with them so far, exploring the pilot. Um, so it's a very early stage. But I want to emphasize one point is that prior, prior, to, work, prior to working on, on robot base, um, I train a global supply chain business, and we supply to major retailer from Home Depot, Lowe's, Costco, Target, everyone in the US. Even in Europe, we work with Kingfisher, OBI Bauhaus. So we have, I personally have existing relationship already. So this is more casual conversation. Uh, we only vent up this guy already. So it's a lot faster than a regular I'm trying to get into those store. We had those bridges built already. I think you've got a lot of, it's, it's, it's very cool. A uh, couple of questions uh, very quickly. There's a lot of things to try to put together as a complete system. And, and when you're trying to do a lot of things, there are a lot of moving parts. You've got a mechanical, yeah. you've got to fix the, oh, so. the, the movement, you've got to fix the, yep. the speech recognition, so on and so forth. Yep. What is your core IP? You know, ultimately, yep. what do you think you're best at? Yep. That's actually key. Um, so I, I, I think there's no recipe or formula for stuff. So if I'm going to be a mobile app today for photos, I'm going to focus on one feature. When you work on robotics, you have to focus on four things. Mechanical, user experience, hardware and software, right? <coughs> um, the number one thing is our IP. It's actually the deep learning AI. Sure. So we are, we are the very first company to build deep learning for robotics. I mean, Google built even to recognize cast photo, right? That's the thing, right? We build deep learning for robotics, right? Very specific things. 
Um, that's our core AI. And the second thing is we optimize and it's done really fast on a mobile device, right? We don't have 16,000 core machine on a server, right? This is a mobile device. How can we recognize things really fast in real time? So uh, our initial prototype recognized about three photos per second, like recognize objects. And with the new chip from uh, the TK1 Tegra from NVIDIA, it recognized up to 25 images per second. Recon recognize, not just see it, but recognize what in it. So actually, if, and, and that's the thing. I think if your core IP is deep learning, and I think that's the hardest part of the whole thing. I mean, you could do the speech, re speech recognition, you can do the mechanicals and, and movements, so on and so forth. But I think it was really the deep learning part that I didn't really get the full uh, ambit of what you were able to do. So it's, it's image recognition being the primary um, uh, capability of the uh, machine. So uh, deep learning, uh, you feel like general AI, so it's one area you can perform multiple tasks. Right. So it's certainly image recognition is one, right? Um, and even image recognition, there's a lot inside, like object detection, right? Like this is your photo. I don't know where you sit, like you sit right here and John sit right here, right? So there are various tasks. Um, the second thing is natural language processing, right? So things like, hey Maya, can you turn on the line? Uh, Hi Maya, can you uh, turn off my nest? Hey Maya, I'm hungry, can you order food, right? NLP is your core part. And we, uh, even just an NP, NLP program we built out a few months ago, we have a partnership with Samsung for one of the devices already, so it's working really well. Mm -hmm. um, and we try to generate that to across more area. So for example, one thing is uh, abnormally detection, right? So if you look at these things, right? What she, this, this is a smart home hub right here, right? If you look at the most of the smart hub today on the market, there's a big disappointment. They do nothing but connect device to the, the internet, but, and that's it, right? Maya streams data from these devices and analyze them and detect parent and abnormal detection. And sure. those we can do with deep learning too. Cool, thank you. Thank you very much. Price point and uh, time to market and launch. Yeah, yeah. so um, price point retail uh, about $2,000. And right now we have commitment from a few of them already. We have commitment from Lowe's, from Overstock, uh, and we can get into Costco too. So those are the commitments so far. We have about 20 more in the pipeline right now. And when I say commitment, I don't mean just like a chain email. We serve as a vendor, we serve vendor agreement, and we went for the PL. Uh, and Kickstarter, I'm sorry. And on Kickstarter, we're launching today, uh, and we actually just got over 14 or 15 thousand uh, dollars already. Uh, it's available for 9.95. Very All cool. Right, super. I might go buy one. <laughs> All right, robot base. Thanks a lot, guys. Right, well, thanks so much, John. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you.